Originally from Scotland, George Gracie came to Brazil in the early 1800s. He had children, and his son, Pedro, had Gaston. Gaston eventually fathered eight kids, five boys and three girls. The boys in black and the girls in white, so you know who is who. About 100 years ago, Mitsui Maeda, a jiu-jitsu instructor from Japan, came to Brazil, apparently as an aide to the Japanese immigration colony. My grandfather helped Mr. Maeda get established in northern Brazil. Then, to show gratitude, he offered to teach jiu-jitsu to my then 13-year-old Uncle Carlos. Uncle Carlos trained with Mr. Maeda for about four or five years until the family moved from northern Brazil on the state of Pará, where they lived, to Rio. Once they got in Rio, Uncle Carlos did not have a specific profession, but liked jiu-jitsu very much, so he started teaching the art. Of course, sharing with his brothers. My father was physically a very frail child. He would run up a flight of stairs and had fainting spells, and nobody knew exactly why. So the doctors at the time recommended he be kept from any kind of physical activity. So he used to just sit and watch his brothers train. Until one day, when he was 16 years old, a student came for a class, and my uncles were not around to teach the class. So my father offered to teach the men a lesson, which he agreed. Okay, kid, let's play. So my father stepped on the mat, teaches the guy a lesson, and by the time they get done, Uncle Carlos shows up very apologetic. I'm so sorry I'm late, let's have the class now, and so on. And the student said, listen, I had a class with your little brother earlier, and I liked it. In fact, I want to be a student from now on. So my father was promoted to be a teacher by his own student. What my dad soon realized is that the techniques he had memorized, based on the traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu, required a certain amount of physical ability and strength which he did not have. So to trial and error by simplifying the techniques and giving more emphasis on natural body movements, better timing, better leverage, and so forth, my dad eventually fine-tuned the techniques and used himself as a guinea pig to test the effectiveness of his moves, eventually giving birth to what's known today as Gracie Jiu-Jitsu or Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. 